in your supplement, we have the SAR folder. I'm going to open up the script on SAR water detection. If you want to detect water for any region, you can use SAR because SAR is not affected by clouds and it will give you a much cleaner result. So this is the same basin that we had worked on for our other scripts. Here we just select the basin, take our Sentinel-1 data, apply the filters, change this from descending to ascending if your region has only ascending images. We apply a date filter, so this is 2019, and we apply a speckle filter, and then we apply a threshold. We say, after applying speckle filter, any pixels that are less than 25 is water, because water has very less backscatter. So now when you apply this, and you'll get water. So now if you zoom in and you can see, all the blue pixels are this, the pixels which are having low backscatter values, which are detected from the SAR imagery. This is also helpful when you're trying to detect water in monsoon season where there are a lot of clouds. The only sensor you have is Sentinel-1. So you can see it's a pretty decent uh, result. You can get pretty clean water boundaries from this data. So again, you can do this uh, monthly water detection if you wanted to do it. You can use that for water detection as well.